What's up, family? I'm back here. I want to give you my reading to The Jungle Book. This is, you know, a newer remake, modern tone story of that animation that came out a couple of decades ago based on the animation of, you know, the source material of The Jungle Book. It's that classic Disney film that, if you're in my time age, you know, you grew up with that film. You love that film. You, as you got older, you understand more what the more of that story was. And this is, you know, a remake, but really is now a modern take of that story for a newer generation. Added with a little bit of more stuff that probably that one didn't have that they were able to, you know, put in this version. Stuff like that. Honestly, guys, this movie was amazing. This movie was so beautifully crafted. It was adorable from the voice casting. Um, everybody that was cast for this did a perfect version of what that animal would probably sound if they talked. Bill Murray was amazing as Baloo. Christopher Walken was incredible as King Louie. Idris Elba. Idris Elba as Shere Khan. He was intimidating. He was menacing. He was a great villain. And he was animation. And this is like in a kids movie, you know. And for it being a PG movie, this is not... Com it's considered a kids movie, but it's not completely a kids movie, you know. It's kind of dark, you know. You might not be able to take your children or like five years and younger for this this felt like an adult film especially with the stories that it told having Mowgli grew up in this in this like adopted world but it's being accepted as a family part of this family and now he has to go back because you know it's getting very dangerous as the years go by and he needs to be with his people so this like message of everything of family and just you know accepting what you are it's just it's just incredible and I'm glad that this movie stayed true to what the animation was and was able to continue on and it wasn't a dumbed down version that a lot of remakes get nowadays this was a rightful way to pay homage to the story of the book the film of the animation it was just incredible like I said guys the voice casting is amazing you seem like these like from the main actors to also the young little cubs, the wolves and everything. I was just like so awed by everything. and But also was kind of mad. I was like, you know, I have a dog. So I'm, you know, able to come back. And I'm like now wondering, why don't you talk? Say something. That's why. And in that aspect, I'm like, oh, I wish like animals were able to talk like dogs. You know, those house pets that, you know, you might have at your home. Why don't you talk, man? Say something. Say that you love me. Say I'm an ass. Anything. Just talk. Damn it. It's just, it was just so cute. It was so adorable. Seriously, the emotions in this film, you just cared for Mowgli. You just cared for Baloo. You just cared for everybody. And then those that you were rooting against, you really wanted them to not succeed. But also you understood the motive. So everybody that was in here, had a reason to be here, had a purpose. There are some of the characters I wish, you know, maybe I, you know, would have seen more, but you know what? It was still good seeing just them pop out from time to time and really stand out and still just remember of those times that, you know, I used to see from the old film. There's just a couple of times that, you know, I could, I was able to reminisce on nostalgic when I was little and kind of tear up just a little bit. But now seeing this movie, now that I'm older, seeing the drama that goes behind it, the action that it goes also. It's amazing. The CGI, the CGI is one of the things that's going to stand out to, with this film. It's amazing. can't believe it looks all real. And it was just shot in the parking lot of downtown LA or something like that. And the main character, played by Neil Steele, I think that's his name is, was the only person involved in the film. It just blows my mind. But overall, it's a well-looking film. Overall, guys, in general, it is. it was an adorable emotionally driven well casted beautifully lit film i love this movie a lot i'm gonna have to give the jungle book an a it, go see it whenever you guys can and for those that are probably saying like this is just kids films no there's more to that and if you loved that disney animation you love the book you're gonna love this movie too this is gonna be able to get a new generation of fans to you know appreciate the jungle book source material now, you know, let me know what you guys thought if you guys already seen the movie. 
Do you guys love it or hate it? An opinion is subjective, guys. And until 1 trillion and 708 subscribers, Roman Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.